All right, how's everybody doing out here for another night of Garage Chronicles? We had another delivery come in there not too long ago, over the weekend. Went ahead and decided to pick me up the old Sudbuster. Uh, I already had the uh, cattle knife and uh, the Johnny on the spot, and I was looking at these and I thought I'd really like to get one of these and maybe even think about carrying it, you know, because it has the top lifter on it and everything, but. Coming to mail, I, I guess I got it Saturday. I bought it off eBay. Really overpaid for it, but oh well, you'll have that. These other two, I was able to get off DLT trading on a drop, so it wasn't too bad, but uh, this one here, whew, cost me a pretty penny compared to what you can buy them brand new uh, off the uh, websites. But anyway, we got the old Farm and Field Solid Buster, number 71. Special factory order, collector knives, Mike Latham. Latham, I don't know how you pronounce it. Got that. Let's take a look at the old top there, or the old pin. And then they got the top here, the 715222 for the model number. Natural canvas micarta. I do like micarta knives, I've never had a, I got a couple pocket knives in micarta, but this is pretty tight right here compared to that Civivi I got that's in my car to. But I kind of want to look at this and uh, compare it to the the other sod, the actual real case sod busters from back in the day. So, yeah, if we look at this thing right here, see what she measures out at. Put her at three and it goes all the way to 10 inches, so it's uh, seven inches long. Uh, the actual cut length on this thing going to be right at two and three quarter probably yeah, two and three quarter then we got the old top lifter as well it's a little stiff compared to how the other action is but I've heard that about these quite a bit but the top lifter on this is going to be nine two inches a little over two probably two and a two and an eighth inches long we'll take it out and we're going to compare the old Sud Buster to an actual the actual Sod Busters. So if we look, what we say it was seven inches long, you know from six to thirteen. Definitely a full seven inches and where this uh Sod Buster Junior here is gonna be eh, half inch shorter. Yeah like six and a half inches. Then we got uh, the real sod buster. Shoot, look at that thing. Holy smokes. Is that going to be from 6 to 14 and a half, so 8 and a half inches? <laughs> so if we look at the farm in the field, the uh, sod buster is more up to kind of feeling like the sod buster junior as compared to the full size sod buster. I think this is a. Yeah, this is a I believe a 74 model sod buster here or is this no, I'm not sure what years I've got a video on it somewhere in the 2000s but yeah I mean feels good overall good feeling knife got the half stops some good tight action on it real tight shoo So if we look at that, it's farm and field tool made in the USA on the tang. It's got the Sudbuster laser etching there, using the top lifter. And on this side, it's got the CK for collector knives. It's got the GEC CAR. And it's got the model 715222. And then on the actual the pivot here, it's got. F and F for Farm and Field in USA with two uh, stars on each side of it. Gonna open up the now the uh, the top lifter slash flat nose also has half stops. Nothing on that side, but uh, on this side it does have Titusville, PA on the tang stamp there. So 
yeah, this is just a look. This is uh, my third uh, GEC that I've been able to acquire. I am becoming a fanboy. Went from Bark River to GEC pretty quick. You know, <laughs> I do like them though. Got a little, got a little scratch there on the end of the blade. Nothing to be concerned about though. Put the old wicked wax on her. But yeah, this is a look at it. This is. What I want to do is also going to grab my scales and see kind of what she weighs like. I have broke out the old meat scales in past videos, and we're going to use them again in this one. Kind of set this stuff to the side. And we'll start with the, we'll do it in grams as well, because you just get more of a measurement style with the grams as opposed to ounces. But we'll do actually both probably. So put the old GEC on there, the old farm and field, 83 grams. Full size sod buster, 103 grams. We got the sod buster junior, 59. So we'll just change the units of measurement on here. So two and a half ounces on the junior, probably almost three, 2.90 ounces on the sod buster, and then 3.6 for the for the full size sod buster. So yeah. These are some quality knives. I probably do need to put some oil actually in the top lifter. You know, it does have a little, I mean, I don't know, it's starting to get better as you work it in. I'm sure some of that wicked wax has made its way down the pivot as well. And I just want to kind of be careful with this because I want to just douse it with oil. And once it's open like that yeah, on the half stop, I like to put some in the back here as well. Just kind of make sure it gets down in there. Oh yeah. World of difference. World of difference. I ain't gonna mess with the main blade. It's pretty good the way it is. Like I said, that wicked wax, it'll it'll make its way down in there as well, but it's overall pretty good knife and again the display that how these things come packaged you know with your your pen and your, your tube and the actual writing on the tube itself I mean just the display and of course you can't forget the wax paper if you ever lose that you can buy these off the GEC website as well so yeah this is a look at it. I haven't made a video in like a week but uh, I've been really busy on the weekends trying to get ready for the upcoming winter been canning and things like that so just been super super busy I definitely want to get outside and get a video hiking as well and probably use one of my bark, bark rivers out and do some batoning and stuff like that and maybe even start a fire but yeah this is it this is a look at the old farm and field Sudbuster like I said, I definitely overpaid for it. Oh, and that's opening real smooth now. Oh, yeah. Ten times. Ten times better. Yeah. Paid a pretty penny for this. I wouldn't recommend paying what I paid for it, but if we look at the back springs here. Let's just wipe that down. That oil's starting to make its way down through there. You can kind of see how tight those are. There's actually no gaps whatsoever. I mean, you can't see it, you can't feel it. The brass pins, I mean, you don't feel them at all. Your lanyard hole, just a very little bit you feel on that. And of course, the, the pivot, you know, they want you to feel that. It's kind of like the, kind of reminds you of a, the cartridge. That's how that's kind of made, but yeah. The springs, I mean, you just cannot feel or see anything where, is that right there? I mean, you can see it kind of, and this side right here kind of runs down a little bit. And <laughs> Let's look at this one as well here. This one's actually pretty tight. This one's actually, there's a little bit of, just a little bit of gappage right here that you're coming down. But compared to that right there, well, there's absolutely nothing to see. I mean, it's just all flush. You just can't 
can't beat the craftsmanship on these. Not at all. Anyway, that's a look at it. That's my uh, farm and field sub buster I just picked up. So don't recommend getting them off eBay like I did, but <laughs> try to shoot your shot and see what you get. All right, you guys have a good one. Like, subscribe, leave a hate comment.